top three things in Keith's macro notebook are in this order, Russell 2000, U.S. dollar, and commodities. So first thing in Keith's notebook, Russell 2000 versus the Alibaba IPO. Uh, Russell closed down 1.4% on the day Friday and is now down about that much on the year-to-date. You know, we, you know, our view, as we've been sort of continually saying, is that there, there's a bubble in the liquid small cap stocks. You know, Effectively, those stocks have traded over 50 times trailing, trailing earnings. You know, this bubble probably will only be clear in hindsight, but we still, you know, remain bearish, uh, especially vis-a-vis you know, more blue-chip, uh, liquid, large-cap stocks. Second thing in Keith's macro notebook, U.S. dollar. Uh, U.S. dollars had the biggest ramp since, you know, almost 17 years, 1997. The downside to that, of course, is that there's now some serious correlation risk embedded in the macro markets. 30-day correlation basis, and this is obviously what the machines chase, uh, the U.S. dollar and S&P 500 have a correlation of plus 0.68, and Brent and gold have a negative co- correlation. Uh, this is versus the U.S. dollar of negative 0.86 and negative 0.85. And if you add to that that the U.S. dollar is, you know, showing past a, a major big-time overbought signal, you know, you have a, a risk here, some some uh, serious snapback in kind of these key macro markets. And then the last thing in key macro notebook, um, commodities, once again, Based on the second point of, of the U.S. dollar, correlation of the U.S. dollar remains very obvious as the round trip on the CRB index, you know, is sort of solidly in place for 2014. On a 90 and 100 day basis, the U.S. dollar correlation to the CRB, um, I think I have this right, point, uh, negative 0.81 and, and negative 0.63. You know, what this means from more of a macro perspective in our GIP model, um, you know, we have, you now have both growth slowing and inflation, particularly commodity inflation slowing. And, you know, this to us is a quad four move, um, you know, which is effectively growth and inflation slowing at the same time. 